Thanks for joining me today. I'm Jarrell. My work includes technology consultancy, public speaking, and game development. So as a solo developer, I have shipped five titles on the Nintendo 3DS, two on the Wii U, four on the Switch, and I have a number of titles in development at the moment. Today, I want to offer some support and consultancy pro bono to the developers of Lollipop Chainsaw Remaster, which has launched recently. For the Nintendo Switch, there have been reports of performance issues and uh, some technical problems. So I would like to see this game succeed. I think it's a very cool game and I want to see honest developers who are well-intentioned, uh, who are making games for the right reason, I want to see those developers succeed. So I would like to offer some technical supports so that the game can be improved in a patch update. So, uh, part of my work in the past has been highly specialized in optimizing, uh, and much of that applies to the Switch. So this game was originally made in Unreal 3. Remaster was made in Unreal 5. Now, unfortunately, Unreal Engine 5 is very heavy on the Switch. Well, it's very heavy in general, but it's just a bit heavy for the Switch. Uh, however, the information that I will be providing is not dependent on Unreal 5. So, what we've heard is that this game works slightly better in handheld mode, and that means that the internal rendering resolution of the game should be lowered as much as possible and still good, and just use anti-aliasing or anti-aliasing to uh, help smoothen out those uh, pixels. So, if possible, if you can reduce the lower, uh, if you can reduce the internal rendering resolution, that would make a huge difference. Um, Despite the fact that the console has uh, a bit more power when it's plugged into the dock, if you are getting worse performance, that is because the resolution is just a little too high for what the game is trying to do. Something that would make a huge difference, the particle effects appear to have a significant negative impact on the game experience. I would strongly recommend using a simpler shader with uh, less mathematical calculations for the particle effects. Um, it's it's up to the, de the developers to determine what would be best, but I would strongly recommend using the simplest shaders possible for those particle effects and reduce the overall particle density for each particle. For people that aren't um, game developers, generally we have a, a system and it generates particles and you can define how many particles uh, are emitted during that um, special effect, that particle effect, I would strongly recommend overall reducing the particle density, the maximum amount of particles that are being generated. I would strongly recommend reducing that. There have been reports of crashing or soft locking. I have not played this game uh, myself, but I have been uh, reading reports from people and watching videos. I've most likely this is caused from memory fragmentation resulting from high resolution textures or assets that are not loading into memory, uh, which is resulting in null references. This causes the game to hang when it cannot find an object that it needs to reference to. I, I, I am basing this judgment based off of people saying that they sort of enter new areas of the games and then the game just hangs and it sits there and doesn't do anything and then they have to reset the game. Most likely, I believe that is what is happening. So a solution to this would be to lower the resolution of in-game textures. If there's any textures here that are like, uh, you know, uh, in the 4000s, you know, I would strongly recommend keeping textures to uh, 2048 or lower. But if you have any 4096 or anything like that, that's going to be a huge problem. So if possible, reduce the textures because here's the thing this game is very ui heavy and the ui has to have high resolution textures that already puts a huge strain on switch so if there's anything in the in the environment like these sort of coliseum textures uh the bleachers the floor you know if these things are at 4096 i would strongly recommend knocking them down for my Unity games, I only allow the albedo or the diffuse maps. That is the one that actually shows the colors. I let those be the high resolution textures. And for things like the normal maps and the specular maps, I actually knock those down significantly lower. So if I need a high resolution texture, I, for example, would make the floor, you know, 2048 by 2048. 
then I would make the normal map and the, the specular map, I would make like 512 by 512, normal map 1024 by 20, 1024. I've used a little bit of Unreal. I'm not sure if they will actually let you uh, have different resolutions for those maps, but I'm not well versed in um, Unreal. I'm uh, more focused on um, using Unity. Next, if there are... Well, I can see that there are full screen or post screen shaders here. And these are extremely demanding on the Switch. The Switch is not good at doing that. So I would strongly recommend reducing the internal resolution of these effects. These full screen effects include things like bloom, uh, that sort of add a halo effect when there's a boundary between light and dark pixels. Uh, if you have depth of field, that makes the background blur a little bit. Or if you have universal blurring, Universal blurring isn't so demanding, but it, there's still a cost, a, a performance implication there. So all of those effects, if you can reduce the internal rendering resolution on those. For example, on my uh, Switch titles, for the depth of field, I significantly reduce the rendering resolution. For the uh, bloom on my games, I think I use like quarter resolution. Uh, these have the biggest significant negative impact on performance. So even those things, even if you don't want to reduce, you know, the, the whole uh, rendering resolution of the game graphics, reducing the um, internal resolution of those post screen effects or those full screen effects, they will have a significant impact. So those are the recommendations that I would make. Things like high poly count don't they don't really have that much of a significant impact on the Switch, especially from what I'm seeing is that these, these poly counts don't look huge, but I would double check your poly counts. There's a threshold for the Switch. It works great until there's it reaches that threshold and then it, it really struggles. So I would double check that because I'm not entirely sure. I haven't seen a lot of the enemies here, but I do see that the game tends to struggle when there are many enemies on screen as well. So I would double check that, and if possible, if your enemies are quite high poly count, I would just strongly recommend reducing the poly count on your enemies, since it's the, these rando enemies that tend to fill up the screen a bunch. And there are, are different techniques you can use. Uh, to optimize that if you have much of the same geometry. So those are the uh, recommendations I would make, and that is how I would consult on this title in order to improve it. So I uh, hope that this video has been helpful. I generally don't ask for engagement or for likes, but I don't know any of the development team. I don't know how to contact them, and I believe I'm, I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't really understand how this works, but I believe if people comment and like this video, it, it gets more exposure, and I think hopefully that will help reach the developers of this remaster. So I really hope this video reaches these developers uh, and they can uh, hear some of my recommendations and they can see if it applies to their situation. Hopefully um, the consultancy that I'm sharing here can be applied, it can be useful, and the game can be improved so that Nintendo Switch owners can have a version of the game that runs much smoother. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, be well, take care of yourselves. If you're interested in my work, I don't really think this is the right place to talk about it here, but I'll put links in the description just if you're interested and I'll share some of my other videos. Be well, take care of yourselves. Thank you for listening.